Shangwe na vigelegele kwa mwaka Amen That's our prayer That the Holy Spirit may reign As he reigned in the morning session Yes, I want to say Something that I may not remember after this That we pray for our praise and worship team that they are able to maintain the synergy with the Holy Spirit. Not necessarily the synergy with each other, but more the synergy with the Holy Spirit. Because he is the one who is in charge of the presence of the Lord. When the praise and worship team, when the praise team is at that level, when they are able to connect with the Holy Spirit, it is like setting the ground kila mmoja mwingine akisimama katika madhabahu inakuwa raisi. so we thank god for you and we continue praying for you because you are a wonderful team never take it for granted it takes the hand of god and as i say this it is good to understand that shaitani ndakoragwa kurayu the devil is never, never very far so as i speak this because it's a word of prophecy as I speak this, that you people, you are going far and the Lord is watching upon you. Just know that every time the word of God is spoken or favor is spoken to a people, Satan takes it upon his own. It becomes his own personal responsibility to bring you down. I'm not speaking that so that I can make you feel afraid. I am just saying it because so that you can be a lot. Eh? Dio mkaweza kuelewa. Bwana pewe sifa. When you get it, when you understand it, you will forever remain in intercession. I hope among you, I don't know why I'm carrying the burden for you. I hope among you they are intercessors. Because you need, not among in the main church, but among yourself. There need to be intercessors who know their role uh, in every praise team, in every choir, there ought to be people who are three types of people. They are the teachers of the word, of the word who ground you in the word. They are the psalmists, the ones who go out in instruments and in voices. And they are intercessors. The words in the charge of the word are the ones who put you back online. The intercessors are the ones who pray for you. And then the psalmists take us to the next level. So we pray that the Lord will give you those kind of people because I keep saying that Satan have, feels he feels kewaru every time there is a good and a wonderful worship team because he feels like he should be the one who should be the worshiper. So you are taking his personal ministry and he doesn't take it lightly. Wanapewe sifa. Hiyo sijui ni Mungu tu anataka tuongee and I pray you take it to heart. Hallelujah. Mko salama. Eh simama dia u declare kitu moja kwa maisha yako. Simama tu. Declare I am, I am blessed. I am transformed. I am transformed. Ya mwisho useme na bado. Na bado. I am blessed. I am, I am transformed. Nabado. Amen. You can have your seat. Eh. Ya kwamba haujatosheka, si ndio? Umebarikiwa lakini bado unamwambia Mungu afanye nini? Anibariki tena. Eh. Nijue de muradhime no ni daho ya kuradhi muregi. Eh. I am transformed but I am not done. I continue at the well of Jesus as a deer thirsts for water. So my heart thirsts for you. Because I know that every day I face new challenges. I have had something I want to hear late again. Father, we worship you because of your word. We worship you because of your people. And even for myself, I enter under your authority 100%. These are your people. I am yours. The word is yours. I pray that there will be an interaction between the three of us, oh God, the word, myself, and your people, so that we can bring the completeness in the seminar we are going to have. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. We 
are doing family dynamic seminar family dynamic seminar i hope you have somewhere you are writing if you have a smartphone you can open your notes if you have a, a notebook family dynamic seminar and i have themed it god's love in the family even ndivyo nimeiweka kama mada ya kwamba upendo wa Yesu ama upendo wa Mungu katika familia mada yetu upendo wa Mungu katika familia our theme is god's love in the family and it is good we welcome our online viewers si ni vizuri kuwafanya hivi si mua si maidie kuna online viewers eh na tunashukuru uh, we have uh, our media team uh, we i did not remember to introduce them in the first service we have um, uh, charles charles is the one on the main camera that young man the hananga maneno mingi we have the noise maker and the one who is in charge of the production he's called william amejificha pale unamuona pale amejificha na hapo mkituona kwa tiktok na youtube hiyo ni kazi yake mimi kazi yangu ni kuhubiri so mkipata tu vitu twa twenye muelewi muulizeni yeye ndiye ana anachinja samoni yangu akitafuta ile ya kupeleka kwa tiktok so that is william mtumshangilie bwana yesu kwa sababu ya william na charles i have also come with another team i have a team of three ah uh, wanaweza simama pali wako Uh, where is Joroge? Oh. Joroge ako hapo leo lakini he is our intercessor. Naweza mpigia makofi that is Joroge. We have Shina and Pius. Those are our lead soloist. Shina and Pius are our lead soloist. We have a program we come we call Kakigosho. You can have your seat, thank you. Uh, I don't know whether there are people who have seen us on Kak TV or on, on social media Kakigosho. Those are some of our lead uh, soloists, they are lead the leaders in worship. Uh Joroge leads us the ministry of intercession. We have a big group called Limuru Priest. Uh ikona missionary, wa missionaries, some people are missionaries, the media team, the intercession and the priest team. That's what the ministry God gave us when we were in Limuru. I was serving in Limuru for four years since 2018 to 2022. Uh, 2021 2018 2019 2020 2021 and in 2022 from 2022 to now i'm serving in karodi parish githunguri presbytery when we were in lemuru the lord gave us that ministry during covid of young people who came and they had they wanted just to minister and they said ministering on upon your ministry yetu ya online ilizaliwa haikuwa ni wakati wa covid wakati hatukudua tunajua tutafanya nini makanisa imefungwa and we started to worship to sing to preach online in 2020 and from that time this group has continually being rejuvenated it is of young people not necessarily of limuru it is called limuru priest because that's where it started but some of these people are not from limuru this is to joroge and uh, and uh, pius those are from Rogere Kerwa Presbytery Mugoga Mugoga Sigona that is Kerwa Parish that is Sigona Parish we have Shina who are from AIC so it is not Presbyterian she is from AIC Kabuku and this uh <laughs> Charles Ajuagi anasema nga ICK sometimes tukienda na yeye sana anasema amehama ameenda PCA but william is pca rironi so that is the group is made of many people we are about maybe 50 young people yeah 50 young people or from different churches just to seek the lord so we thank god for that ministry and glory and honor to god hallelujah that's what the lord does when you surrender because it is mimi ninashidwa ninamwambia tu mungu niko hapa nitumie jinsi upendavyo tuko na huduma ya usiku wa manane siji kama hapa kuna midnight watchers midnight intercession family wale tunamkanga saa sita kwa online tunaomba one hour that is a ministry for the nation 
It is a mandate for the nation. We pray every night on Google Meet, on YouTube, every single night. We are online praying for an hour from midnight to one. And we thank God. We also have a high school ministry. We call high school explosion. We go to high schools with these young people. They inspire the young people and we also preach. Among them, there are ministers. By the way, I didn't say that. We have a few ministers of the word. We have uh, evangelists. We have youth coordinators who have grown. Kutoka hapo wameendelea waki wakienda. And we are grateful to God. Hiyo inagarimu mkono wabwana. Sifa na shukura ni kwake. Hallelujah. Ukona kitabu yako? Eh. Ile masomo tunasoma hatusomi any new word. We are just reading the old. The scripture we had from the book of John. 15, 10 to 17. That's the scripture we will read for the family dynamic seminar. John 15 from verse 10 to 17. I read again. If you keep my commandments, you will be able to, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my the father's commandment and abound in his love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down his life for his friends. You are my friend, if you do whatever I command you. No longer do I call you servants, for a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you my friends, for the things I have heard from my father, I have made them known to you. You did not choose me, I chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruits, fruits that will last. For whatever you ask in my father's name, you he may give you. This thing I command you, that you love one another. Father, we surrender your word to you. Speak to us. Your word is yourself. Interact with me. Interact with your people to bring completeness. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. Amen. So God's love in the family. I want you to draw a triangle. If you can, if you can't, it's okay. You can see how you can write it. Draw a triangle. And then draw a circle touching the three tips of the triangle. Draw a circle, a big enough circle whereby you can write, touching, touching the, uh, uh, there are few things to write within, inside the triangle and on the borders. So draw a triangle and then draw a circle. Usijali, hiyo circle ni yako. Sita kuja kuyona. Usijali atakama inaka kama ovo ama something else without a name. You just drew it. Hey, let it touch the three tips. Uh, on the first, the upper tip of the triangle, write God. Inside. Kwa undani ama pali, papote karibu na tip. Just write God. On the right side, this is my right side, so your right side is this one. On, your right, on the right side, the tip of the right side, write man. And on the left, of course, right woman. Inside the triangle, write three things. One, children. Inside the triangle. Two, joint projects. Three, personal development. Kwa hiyo triangle, kata kama huwezi chora triangle, write these things. You can say inside the triangle in capital letter, then write three. Utaenda, itaku kumbusha. So inside the triangle, there is children one. The second point is project. The third point is personal development. Uh, between God and man, Hapo kwa sako sasa si ondani ya triangle. Nje ya triangle lakini within the circle. Right. Relatives. Relatives. Upande mwingine between God and woman. Right. Friends. 
chini between man and woman chini outside the triangle but inside the circle right community so god's love in the family that's it and i would want to start with it. the triangle is the main why is it the triangle because it's tri trinity and the triangle is the most stable shape because however it falls it is able to, it is able to stand however it falls it is able to stand it is the most stable of the ships and it does not because it is surrounded by a circle that is equal on all sides it makes sure that it has no weaknesses because the tips are the same and the circle is the same if you try to draw a circle on a rectangle you will have problems in your if you try to draw a circle on any other any other shape you will have a problem but on a triangle you can draw a circle so inside a circle is a triangle that is equal on all sides and it is the most stable of shapes that is family god's way and up there we have god because we've said convergence at the cross that is why we have god and we are talking about love in this scripture that we have called, we have received we are talking about god's love to us because it's jesus talking to us and then he tells us love one another praise the lord hallelujah that is the command actually it is also the command of paul talking to the hmm, the ephesians ndio anawaambia wanaume pendeni wake zenu nanyi wake eh munyenyeke chini ya waume zenu kama vile kanisa inavyonyenyekea kwa Christ the Lord it is good that everybody somebody may ask where do i fit if i am single where do i fit if you are a single know that god the bible says that i am the father to the fatherless i am also the husband too we do not we no longer we are not changing the bible we are not redacting wala amefanya theology we are not redacting the bible but we are saying we no longer just have widows as single women we have many more single women some are single by choice others by circumstances however and whatever the reason we take that scripture and say that god is the is the husband to the women without husbands so as we speak don't feel as if you are out of place because where there is no man the lord starts actually the analogy and the characteristics of god the father he is actually like a father actually it's good that you write this down somewhere that the trinity god is very well choreographed in the family the trinity god so when you want to have love and relationships by the way god is relational god the father is a symbol of the father that we have the most unfortunate thing is that we have a very bad most of us ni vile tu ilivyo especially wale wa generation nyingine we have a bad relationship with our fathers hata kama iko ni ya woga si ndio kama ushai si ndio our fathers wa akisema mnaingia chini ya viti or wherever you just disappear you evaporate like smoke hamko so that kind of a relationship with fathers makes us as christian have a very big problem relating with god the father because we think that every time god the father comes in the picture he is going to punish somebody because our fathers that is how we knew them when you want to relate to god in a relational manner with as a father when you have a problem relating as a father with a, with, your, with the people who, as tell the lord to remove the picture of the father figure you have 
so that he can replace it with himself. Because God, the Godhead, is a very awesome father. And that is why he says, my love to you is everlasting. God, Jesus Christ, is the groom. You know, most people, many people have a problem with songs of songs. Especially what you are seeing with Guataniro. Because it is very explicit. Have you interacted with that book? Oh, eh, kidogo, wakati unataka kusikia upedo. And to see whether you can see some words that make you feel, hey, 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 ucheke tu peke yako. Kama unu mtu wakukuchekeja, eh. Somebody may wonder, go to Songs of Songs, tutatafuta tu aradom scripture. This, it is after, it is after, nini, it's after Proverbs. Hmm? You go after, after Ecclesiastes because it's, a, it's among the books of Solomon. Because Solomon was, he was a man who liked to be loved. He had many women. So he, yeah, you read some of these things, you are like, hey, Jesus, who is being? Yeah, so you can, you can, you can look at, I will read a very, a very sane and stable one, because some of them are not. Some of them are cuckoo's kidogo, you know, when you are hata so I, I read verse 4, chapter 4, verse 9, just a very nice, humble, harmless one. You have lavished my heart. <laughs> what is to lavish? Hey, Jesus Christ. This is the Bible. <laughs> you have lavished with one link. Yani ni megusa hivi tuka link kako ka necklace ni meeda. I am gone. This person has already started caressing this woman. This is the Bible. Ebu abia neighbor, this is the Bible. Hakuna pari to meeda. Yeah? 20 verse 10. How fair is your love? My sister, my spouse. Yeah? And when I just came to her, I said, Duka jeta kama mi. And you are like, ah, I need to get to my How much better than wine is your love? The scent of your perfume. Oh. Oh, Jesus. It's a good thing. It's a good Listen to verse 11. This is the Bible. Niedri kudu diete. Ono kete. Hey, Dorothea Igoro. Verse 11 says, Your lips. Alifika kwa lips kiaje. This is a kiss. See, dear? By the time they are talking about lips, I'm on and see, I'm made. Gone. Drip as the honeycomb. What does that tell you? Those lips, I want to taste them. Isn't it? This is not me. Mimi musinweke hapa. Hapa. Sio mimi. Sisi so mitera nitafika 11 na sita so maikine. Honey and milk <laughs> are under your tongue. We, huko alifika aje mimi. Acha nifuge bibilia yangu. Hiyo mambo imeisha. Hata wajaeda, wako bado kwa, kwa hapa, uso. Yeah? That is the Bible. That is the songs of songs. It is as, about, those who know about the combination of this, of this book, it took a whole, the combination of the Bible, took the whole church meeting at a place, agreeing which book was going into the Bible. They couldn't all be wrong. They could not all be wrong. So it is there because God is watching over us. And I'm talking to people with 
husbands and wives. When you're making your wife or your husband happy, you are worshiping God. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Wamama tuko pamoja. Is this story za kuwa wewe uko fasting 24/7? Kama amuko pamoja na bwanako katika fasting na hujamwelezea na hajaitikia hiyo fasting ni dhabi. Ati anakuja kukwambia we ni de higete. O kwe higara wiki na nyumba ino tutikora gotore nini twe nawe. So if he doesn't agree tafadhali jitoe kwa ile mpango ya fasting ya evangelism. Waabie dena kafata hata agreka aje kiata nyigere fasting you can't be fasting alone it is either your husband has agreed or he is with you na akifika pahali akwambie mwana wa ithe witu ni eno fasting ni athire roha ha mwira no guo dogo e athire roha hau imeishia hapo na yise ukajia rocio yes Mwena agai. <laughs> Abonyite mushie waku. Do you see? I'm talking about Jesus as the bridegroom. That he will love you. Jesus will love you with the love of a man in love. Sawa sawa. And men, allow yourself to be loved by Jesus. Like the church because you are the bride. Because that is why you see many women in church and not as many men. Why? Because men are unable, they are uncomfortable with the love of Jesus. Women are not uncomfortable, that is where they thrive. Because they are in touch with being loved. They are actually have no problem with submitting. Men have a problem with submission. Because they are the boss. But when it comes to Christ and the church, he is the man you submit, you are the church. That is why women will submit very fast. Hata kwa kanisa, tupike ma, wan, wako uko, wameeda. Ni mame nyeri ya koko omuo. Yes, na wame zoea, naona shida. Hey, now that it is Jesus, and let me say this uh, as we continue. We are in the seminar, continue with the seminar. When a man is unable to take charge in his, I'm speaking to the men, and Mchugaji you should tell this to the men, some of them who are not here. When a man is not able to take charge in his home, and listen this and listen good, Jesus Christ becomes a husband. When a man is not able to take charge of his house, that woman will talk to Jesus as a husband. Without you as the man knowing. And because that woman is a bride in her own right, yeah? To Christ. Christ takes the position of the husband. He provides. He provides comfort. He provides whatever else that woman needs. And then the man becomes irrelevant. So, this is to the women. Please, when you go to pray, don't make your man irrelevant. Mungu atamuondoa. There are people here who are single because they cried so much. Eh? Niondolee huyu Mungu. Toa huyu. Mungu. Mimi nakuja kwako wewe. So God what does what is this move? This woman needs me. You know the story of <laughs> There's a woman called Abigail in the Bible. What is her husband's name? Nabal. Is it? What did this woman do? She did everything right but one thing. When she got that to David, and remember David is the symbolic, symbolic nature of Jesus. Sasawa. In this situation, David is not a man. In this situation, actually Jesus calls himself the son of David. Not once, not twice, many times. So David was the symbol representing Jesus. So when Abigail comes with gifts to pacify the king of kings and the lord of lords because the king of kings and the lord of lords is coming 
is coming to finish the household of Naba. What does this woman say? Tigana na muduri wakwa. Tadoneke. Ha. Atumia tu yamwe. Please don't pray for your husband as a fool. When you go, you go with your husband. If you want him to stay in your life, otherwise, what will happen? God will remove that man from the picture. And you start to say, I am single. Some people are here single by choice through the prayers you pray. And some people are single married. You know, there are people who are single married. Married, but single. Kuna mtu, lakini hamuonagi. Ulimtoa kwa picha, kitambo. Na ile maombi unaomba. Yeah? You've been telling God, my husband is a nabal. He is a fool. What happened to Abigail after that? Nabal died. Mnakumbuka? It wasn't David who killed him. He died and what happened? Abigail kuja. Kuja katika mabawa ya mfalme wa wafalme. Mwanaume wa wanaume. The real gentleman. My God. Men, you don't want to compete with God. Ingia hapo katikati na mwambia Yesu, tegeneza familia ya gu. Sitaki kukompiti na wewe. Wewe ni king of kings and the lord of lords. Hallelujah. But the burden stands with women. You are the one. If you have a husband, please pray for him. Don't pray him out of your life. Don't go to God crying for three hours. Eh? Yeah. Unaenda kuwepo za mungu ya kiboi asa suyesi yopa. Mungu atasikusikiza siku tatu. Atasema huyu mwanaume ni shida. This girl wants to get to me but there is a man here who is a problem. Tuko pamoja ladies? Yes, because most of the times a woman will connect with a man faster. With, a, with a Jesus faster. Why? She is used to connecting. She has her biology itself is a biology to connect. Tuko pamoja? Yes, she is the plug. She is, she is the socket. The man is the plug. So, she is able to connect with heaven very fast. Because that is her nature. Men have a problem. So, before you condemn your man, take him to God. And the Bible says somewhere in the book of, uh, of Proverbs that the heart of the king is in the hands of the Lord. And he turns it the way he wants. Who is the king? The man. A woman will never be termed as a king. The man is a king. So you as a woman, stop trying to transform your man. You have no capacity. Hmm? You know most women come to men's life because they have the mother instinct. They look at him. Wakabi ya goita matati maake dokege mako mugarura. Wagai. Ino jaba. Gume tu ugetira ginyayage liya kwe rore kere muo. Ere ubag itege ike hana ina nage ya kuwa. Togo ikarani ya nae o. That is the wrong mentality. You cannot transform a man. Every time a man senses control from a woman. What does he do? He either runs or fights you. He doesn't even know what he's doing. He's just being himself. He's not being used to be controlled. Uh, so the women who are control freaks here, yeah, you will become single married. Shaulienu. Ako na ha? Na yuko. Bwana sifia sana. Najua hiyo kitu siyo mzuri lakini ni sawa. Diyo familia zikuwe salama. So we were talking about God the Father stands for the, the father. Sindio. God the son is the bridegroom. Meaning he stands for the relationship of marriage. God the son, Jesus Christ. God the Holy Spirit is a friend. Let me tell you the, the role of the Holy Spirit. Chugaji. This is the role of the Holy Spirit. Mutukata ni nawadhiye otanaikia mutumia waku. Nuhona kairetu. Katika ina mutukata ni mutika murore ina saten mana. Wherever you are. This is Jesus. Remember, Jesus is a groom. Eh? So, amekuja hapa, riruta, ameona msichana. Msichana ni nani? Ni kanisa, ni wewe. In your personal capacity and in corporate. Tuemwe. Nia za tuchikora nuo. 
So Yesu amefika Liruta ameona msichana mzuri anaitwa kanisa amempenda Lakini because of the way things are going huyu mwanaume lazima aende abroad Sasa sawa Aache msichana wapi hapa si ndio Sijui kama mnakumbuka zile ma, maneno Yesu anaongea na wanafunzi wake katika Yohana 14 anawaambia ngotigatageke goro It is a farewell He's telling his church okay, I have to go imagine lazima niende Ni kama umeshikana na you are girl unamwambia I have to go girl I'm going abroad I will stay there for about 10 years but when I come in fact I will not come you will come And when you come we will get married. Now, kwa sababu anajua msichana wake, Bwana asifiwe sana. Anajua akiacha msichana hapa kuna shaitani. Na shaitani anataka huyu msichana sana. Kwanza shaitani hana pigamisi. Anakuja anamwambia angalia look at what I have to offer. Forget about Jesus, alieda. Kama anakupenda kwa nini ayuko hapa? Sijui kama unaona hiyo ka scenario. There is a kamau here who is betrothed to Shiro nego amwitaka shi shi who ya ki imagine i have to go to the us for 10 years aki an uta sitarudi ni wewe utafanya nini utakuja lakini huko kwa kama huko ina jogona na jogona dare ithero ni arete muiritu wene na darahitha you know the girls cannot get this i'm glad the men are here because they've gone through this time in more times than enough wakati ga wetha kaire tu no kamenya ni gaku Ugishoka kushoka. The girls cannot get it. You know them they just say they are pretty and they are loved, eh? Yeah, but these men have gone through hell. Eh, hey, unaacha umemaliza kila kitu na unajua mwa, that's my girl. Wacha ni ende job. Ugeoka wa ine kaire tu hatire. Jogo na ni ahuririe kimunya, hm? Sorry did not in an ajoguna or the way I have no problem with jogunas but joguna ni shaitani so what does jesus do hallelujah what does he do he tells them please don't leave jerusalem duka umekenya juu road duka ni uthi wanye we joguna ikaragana haria are you seeing what i'm saying please don't leave jerusalem Don't leave Kenya njui. Ah ndagotika kanitha. We terere my friend the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And Kamau knows the friend Mwagi is such a good guy. He is not interested in Shiro. You get it? So he tells the people don't leave Jerusalem. If you leave Jerusalem, my God, they wanna digashoka ku I'll never see you. Because Jogona ako ile upande mwingine shaitani So the Holy Spirit is sent to watch the girl Shiro so that Shiro asijichanganye And kama unos Shiro akitigo to her own devices ona no ige guo fara athia kero ya Jogona weko eh Jogona weko eh Shiro Dahonoka <laughs> and off to anye onero ageru ni jugo na mashemanie junction ataeda so who keeps shiro on check mwagi holy spirit akienda kutoka stay where are you going huko ni kubaya okay shiro akaririkana i am beth road to jogona so sometimes Shiro cries and says I want to go to Jogona. Ebu abi ajo I want to go ori akamwera tigana na Jogona wenu uramenya ni muru si uno mwagi. 
So sometimes because she doesn't know, understand herself. <laughs> sometimes she will say, Oka, come out. Come out, come, come. Like today, you know the way she has, Shiro has been the whole day. So now we Shiro. So to make we happy, to kita Yesu. Yesu kuja, kuja. She wants the husband so much. It is Mwangi, the Holy Spirit, who says, don't worry. One day, and actually, when you see me here, know that Kamau is, Kamau is here. Yeah, what do you want from Kamau? I can send a message in the US, whatever you want. And that is John chapter 14. That where I am going, there is enough space for you, don't worry. And I create John 15 where Jesus says that whatever you ask in my name, you shall receive. Kogo, shiro atigeiro anopen check ne kamau. Kirenyo the oreda, you can get. Just as the Holy Spirit. And that's why Romans 18, 8 says that when we don't know how to pray, when I don't know how to connect to kamau, I ask Mwangi. Because the Holy Spirit will tell me very well. This is how you connect. Hallelujah. That is the role of the Holy Spirit. He's the best friend. When you don't know how to relate with Jesus, you talk to the Holy Spirit. So when people in church have a problem speaking to the Holy Spirit, you have many problems. Kutafuta shiro me shira sese kucha. That's how the devil works. You've gotten it. So the Holy Trinity is a symbol of Jesus or God in relations. God the Father, God the Husband, and God the Friend. So when you relate with people, when you have related well with the Holy Trinity, you will have no problem relating with people. Because the Holy Spirit teaches you how to relate with everybody. Yeah, ukienda kusalimia mtu, roho mtakatifu anakuambia, ushe mugaithie no muhiberie no menye ni snake. Yeah, so uka mugaithia. Ukimenya okay, kahani hako weho, kako wehoga. You go somewhere and the Holy Spirit just connect you with somebody muna nyita na na domoe. No kai wane mwa nyita na. Because that is what the Holy Spirit is. His work is to ensure you don't lose heaven. That is his role. So he is the best friend. So let's go. How do we relate with God? Now that God is at the pinnacle. Remember the man, the woman, we've said, if you're a single woman, mostly because women, most are single women. If you're a single woman or a single man, at the corner, at the Holy Spirit, because the Holy Spirit will stand in that position until you meet your Jesus. Sasawa. So how do you relate with God the Father? With God in the Godhead. God in the three gods. The three God. Yani it is the Trinity God. Hapa Ju. Hapa ni water watatu. How you relate with God in, in, in family is first you must. God is, must be loved. So you relate with God through love. Sasawa. You also relate with God through faith. Nizira vitu tulugot na honge haba. How do you relate with God? Even in marriage, let's say for example, you're having a problem with, with your husband or your child. How do you relate with God? You believe that God is going to change it, isn't it? You take it to God in prayer. So how else do you relate with God? You relate with God through obedience. And all those things, you bring them together in prayer. As a family, whether you are a mother and her children, whether you are a mother, father, and the children, you must create a family altar. The problem is that, to kimaliza maombi hapa, to tapatana hapa next Sunday. Kwa familia hamuombi pamoja, kila mtu wakona kabibili ya kake, mwingine wakona kabibili ya kake, to patane saadi. That should, can't work in a family. You will have to create a family altar. If you are already mume you know you have left. You are no longer living with your with your mother and father, and you have a family home. 
be going there at least once a year. You, you hold hands, whether people are born again or not. You hold hands, you give a sacrifice. You take it to the altar of your parents. Are we together? So that your family is held together by prayer. Do you remember Job? That is what he used to do. When, even when the devil came against that family because he is the Kemunya, God restored him. Why? Because there was an altar that was speaking for Job and his children inside his home. As a mother, even when your children are out of home, you cannot stop praying for them. You cannot call, you call them by name. Unawaita kwa majina kama umepiga magoti katika matabahu ya kwako nyumbani. You are creating a family altar and because you are an authority. There are three types of authorities. One, the authority of God. And here on earth it is taken by ministers, priests. Sawa sawa. Your authority are God. Another authority is the authority of a parent. And it is God given. That is why the Bible says, Tea, Sindio, children respect your. Usha is kia paligine wabiwa. Parents respect your children. No, in a samanga, usiwa kasirishe. Sindio, lakini it doesn't come the other way around. Respect is to an authority figure. So, parents are to be respected, however, whatever, whichever, however they are. Atakama alikuacha, atakama alikutupa, atakama alikunyo school fees yako yote. Please, leave those things. You will never win this battle. You cannot win a battle against parents. Because their authority is stamped from heaven. Our parent, nawe mushari, please, don't, usi, don't curse your child. You have the power. And when you take your child to school, listen this. Because you have delegated your parental authority to the teacher. The teacher has no power. But because, umenye, uyo time yote mtoto anakoshule, anasaidi kuwa na wewe. Sindio? So, this is delegated authority to the, to the teacher. Before you take your child to the school, pray for the teacher who will take charge of your child. Pray for the head teacher. Pray for the class teacher. Pray that your child connects to a good person, a teacher who will train that child. Don't leave your child just to anybody. Pray that your child will go to the class of the godly teacher so that this teacher can be speaking words of blessing because the teacher is speaking from a parental authority in a delegated manner. Are we together? So, as you delegate your authority, be careful because it is real. As you delegate it to Sijui Anko, Sijui Nani, be careful whom you leave your children with. Pray for your house girls, because even that is a delegated authority. Pray for the person who takes care of your children, the driver. All that is delegated authority to belong to the parent. But when we leave that loophole, Kemunya, oka kaigira how, and you never know. Mutoto wako anaenda amebebo na driver na mutaka. We, we toka kwakari webe. Padaraka! Wewe uko mslo sana. Delegated authority. Wewe unafikiri, unashida mtoto wangu anafanya nini? Ameanza kutebea siro. Juu kuna mtu anashida every morning anamuita siro. Eh. Wewe mtukutu kama mama yako. Wewe ukuangi hapo. Padaraka kwa gari. Shuka. This driver is angry because of his own it is your child. For God's sake, cover your child before they leave in from school. Wafunikia na damu ya Yesu Christo. This is serious. Our children are falling, are failing because out of the eight hours you're supposed to spend at home, we don't spend those hours at home. We don't know what is happening to our children. The parental authority has been delegated to come out to Jack, James, and whoever. We don't even care who is blessing or cursing our children. By the time the child gets to 15, you don't have a child anymore. He's been cast by the teachers, cast by who? Cast by Makaga, cast by whoever, cast by him. Eh? Because all that time as the child is growing, he or she is under your authority. Tunongia mamba authority maratatu, sindio? 
Authority ya kwanza tumesema ni ya mchugaji. Hiyo ni ya God. Authority ya pili ni ya mzazi. Delegated to very many people, but it belongs to you. Authority ya tatu ni ya spouse. Ugeda kwa kaka kutherema, kaka kuigua na mudu wa mwika ranake. Eh? Ali ataeda kuoba, alasema mugu na obea hiyo gari, isikaliwe kiti ya bere, hiyo gari ni yagu. No tu araga uba. What do you think you are going to do customer? Authority is on there. Husband and wives are authority on equal measure. None of them is higher than the other. What does the Bible say? That treat your wife in with ease. That is Second Peter somewhere. Treat your wife well. Why? Because she is an equal partner. An equal partner. But she is weaker in body. It doesn't mean she is weaker in spirit. So when she talks, anakufunga, unafungika. Unashidwa what is happening. Nasema mugu baba na oba. Hiyo pesa yake yote. Hiyo pesa. Kwanza anasema maneno mabaya kwa sabata ajui na umuabi. Inatumiwa kwa wanawake wengine na oba ya kwaba ifilisike yote iishe. Na we ujui. Inaisha. So ladies, please don't pray those kind of prayers. Muombe ya kwamba pesa ikuje kwako. Wana sifuwe. Wacha mchezo. Uobe pesa ikuje kwako. Iyache kupitia kuigine. Mimi diyo mfereji. Unaomba wewe DM. Unajua kwa nini? Let me say this. And I'm saying this to men. Please, if you bless your wife, you are just pleasing God. You bless your wife and ladies hawataka kitu mingi. Among the things they really love is money. Mbia kwa sababu ya nasikia haya Mimi nitasema They love money So Wewe fanya kazi Ukipea wife You give her money She has enough She will bless you Until you don't know Where to take your money You You will be walking around Unapata pesa Unasuguka Unapata pesa Biashara unafugua Inapata pesa Cause they love money Tumesema authority ni marangapi? Tatu. Eh, shika iyo. And the authority of husband and wife is equal measure. Hapa hakuna mwingine, uspokuwa mwingine. Huyu atakufunga, mwanamuke atakufunga kama hasemi. Na we ujui. Na ongei? A man, of course, because men are good, most men are good natured. So they don't know how to curse their wives. But they don't know how they are getting curses from them. By not fulfilling their desire. Na desire ya a woman ni pesa. Hizo zigine zinakuja badaya. It is like the men are hearing this for the first time. Welcome to the world. This girl has money. Eh. Eh. Ebu pati ya mtu pesa uone vile makasirika itaisha. Alikuwa makasirika unatoa elfutano zimeshika na hivi unapea mtu gai. Mashida zimeisha zote. Hata zile hawezi kuwa na zingine. Halafu leave her money. Usimwache umemwambia nimekuachia 200 utafute upike na sijui ufanye nini na unakuja kuitisha change na vile nilitumia. What will that girl do? She will go to God and she will tell God, give me money because the money my husband is giving me is not enough. Ha! Are you trying Jesus as a husband? Umuone. Uye mwana mungi atapata pesa utashanga. Because ulishika yako. Usimuachie akikwambia anataka elfu tatu pea ye tano. Bili nisa kufrai huku. Eee. A 
si kuombe maombi ya mashtaka atakuombea maombi ya mashtaka na Mungu atakuja Jesus is a husband and he is a husband per excellence ya yeah, na yeye hakosi ni nafasi amekupea ukue mwanaume katika hiyo maisha kwa sababu yeye ndiye mwanaume lakini so and for wives please don't take the position of provision because the moment you start taking that position of provision do not allow your men to be impotent financially impotent ladies tuko pamoja unajua wanawake most of the ladies in Af- in, in the kikuyu women have money and they don't want to hear this story let me tell you how do we men in the house become in financially impotent it is because you have too much money so you do everything sijui ulinunua nyumba hata ile gari banako anapeleka ni iko jina yako uko na loan biashara yake umeifeed pesa mita moja unalipa what are, what are you doing to that man you are killing him financially he will never rise and men please don't accept women money yeah you accept your woman's money you are making yourself financially impotent wewe ni shamba ukikosa ku if you're not harvested just tell me this is a farm yeah si ndio tumepada boga vizuri sana tumeoana tumepada boga si ndio sasa badala <laughs> wewe uko na boga hapo umezikalia hizi we ninaajo ninaajiko toka ile kuhutia mbesha ciakwa uko mama na bio guo m ushiguage unalanga na pesa hapo umejifungia un account una toa nguo na un account pesa yenye iko na uko uko nayo kwa mfuko asubuhi unakuja kuuliza your wife ni wajia What are you doing to her? You are telling her this cabbage farm is not available to me. This farm is inside my house. Tulipalilia pamoja, tulipanda pamoja. Si unajua vile ulimwambia kuombea wakati ulikuwa unaenda kwa hiyo deal eh? Alikuombea na akafunga na mama mama yake akamwambia tunaombea bwanangu kuna I have an unspoken need. Oh and spoken needs are about husbands. <laughs> I have an unspoken need, eh? Anaobewa na mahi baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaombea hii familia. Eh? Ya mama Tabe, eh? Ya mama eh tunaiobea, tunaobea bwanake. Eh? Apanuke katika na eh wife yako akiwa baba sema yes. Yes, apanuke. Wewe unaenda unadherema. This is your farm together with your wife. Mulipanda pamoja, mulipalilia pamoja. Wakati wa mavuno unatoa mishale. What will that girl do? She will go to God. Atamwambia Mungu niko na haja na huyu amekataa nivune katika shamba lake. There is nothing else that can ever be planted on that farm until the cabbage has been harvested. Sijui kama tunaelewana. So what will happen to this farm? It becomes barren. Because it was not harvested. The seasons of the farm are very clear. You prepare, you plant, you take care, you harvest, you prepare again. Without the harvesting there is no preparation ametoa pesa kwa Mungu amekuja kwa sababu aliomba amekuja u mtoto amefukuzwa shule una dila dile hapo wife anafanya nini analipa eh what will happen money will go to that one who is doing what she ought to do and your farm will become barren will become barren So every time you accept money from your wife to do the big project I'm not talking wewe nunua ugali na ujenge nyumba lakini na yeye anunue curtains That's okay In the family budget it should never be 
If it is 50-50, you are just becoming barren as a man. You are becoming impotent. Na hiyo 50 Mungu wake atampea. Hatafutangi kwa watu. Anatafuta kwa Mungu. Akitafuta anapewa. What happens? You will continue becoming less in the home as she becomes strong. And the ma- person with the coin is the one with the say. It is as simple as that. Unamwambia ati twende kwetu anakwambia ati Nitaenda ku visit mama yako nikitaka. Eda. Ndani na uru. Anakwambia ninaenda mkutano. Yeah. Chama ni mimi ninapewa leo. So wewe Enda ukaone mama. Na ndani na uru. But it is the truth. How can you tell how we go when she is the one who comes in with the bacon? You have no power. You are impotent. Sorry. So as a man, protect your position of provision. Protect it with everything you've got. Eh? Hey. Akijega nyuba mwabie. Ka hiyo. Mpaka ni tujege yetu. Hiyo ni yako. Ukaigira nyoba, ya mutumi oguo, noga ikarathi, noga koma, noko na toro. Ngayarogo <laughs> taithia, hey. take your position as the man. And provide. And for the young men who have not gotten married, a girl you cannot buy coffee for is not your girl. This is serious. If you can't buy coffee for her, ati mnaenda kwa mkahawa analipa nusu. Gone kiss. Achana na yesa hiyo. Mutaingia kwa nyumba na atanza kusema vila ya nataka ikai. Yeah. If she paid coffee for her own debt. What will she not do? She will do everything and her God is standing there protecting her. If you can't not take a girl out, forget her. Watch out after class yake. If you are not married and you are taking a girl out and analipa, anakwabia nitajiripia uba. Hai. Kimeeda. Gone. Your woman is the woman you can treat. Your woman is the woman who is owed by your money. Your woman is the one who feels you are the king and treats you like one. If you if she is not like that in the house she is not your woman. She is her own woman. She is not your woman. Your woman is the one who will listen to you even when you are not making sense. Hallelujah. I will trauma. So we need to ask ourselves, that's God. How do you relate with God? That's the way you relate with God. How do you relate with a woman? We've already said. How do you relate with a woman if you are a man? The first thing a woman needs is security. Happen to your pesa in a upendo. Security. She's just looking for security. Money, love. Just looking for security. A man will a woman will look for a man who whom she thinks will make her secure. Not now, in the future. A woman can see potential in a man which a man does not see. She has that ability. So if your wife tells you to end a hivi, to see end a hivi, tafatali wacha maneno mingi. Unaenda kata kata kidogo kwa sababu wea die boss, lakini itikia. Wewe tafuta jia ya kuitikia. Kata kata hivo tu, lakini tafuta jia. Because she has a sense inside of her. Remember she is a helper. And because she is a helper, she has been trained and molded by God to make you succeed. Are we together ladies? Your work and your power in that man's life is to make him go. That is why they say behind every successful woman, it's not a lie, is a woman who understands her position. 
a woman will see what you will be and she will say to you she will tell you wachana na hii nyumba wachana na hii plot sijui kwa nini nasikia tu ka sense wachana na hii wacha tununue ile tafadhali please do usinunue kitu against your wife's advice uta regret na hata haikuambia atakuwa tu anakuangalia hivyo anajua unakumbuka you remember she will never tell you and you will fail not because she's a bad woman but because she has a sense inside of her what is she looking for in life security she is looking for security for herself and her children there is a sense inside of every woman that tells her this is dangerous this is good you ask her how she doesn't know she is created by god to look for security for herself and because by extension you are the reason why she is here she is looking for security for you not because she knows how to love but because she loves the children that god has given her she is a nurturer she will take care of the brood and you are part of that brood bwana sifiwe so what a woman needs is security give her money that's the first security Mpatie pesa ataacha kuzunguka mifukoni kwako. Anapatanga hizo risita akitafuta pesa. Hakuangi anatafuta risiti. Ni pesa anatafuta kwa sababu hajatoshika. So give her money. She doesn't need to know what you earn. You don't have that it is your money but give her enough. Ya yeah. ana kama hauna your wife wife your way your kazi yako ni kuobea huyo bwana mpaka akutosheleze Bwana asifiwe ladies Haleluya Ladies haleluya You are intercessors you should be praying for that man more than you pray for yourself Ufunge kukula kukunywa uombe bwanako siku tatu Yes mpaka afike ile kiwango wewe utasikia umetoshelezwa Bwana asifiwe The reason why your men don't have money it is because of you. Yeah. You're not praying hard enough. Pray. You are the intercessor. When watu rekanagia makobe. You know how to cry before the Lord. You can pray for 3 days. You can pray continually. And because you love that man you can pray for him bila kinyongo. And the moment you start feeling you don't like that man you'd call from love from heaven. Because you're with that man. He is You are beneficiary. He is your destiny helper. Your brood depends on him. Your children depend on his good health, his financial health, his mental health. Pray for him more than you pray for yourself. Naye bwana akipata, pea bibi pesa. Because if you don't, itanyongwa. Mwenye kupeana ako na hierarchy of needs. And the hierarchy of needs goes to the person who is praying. Bwana asifiwe. Eh? Pitisha pesa ya watoto wako, pitisha kwa mama yao. Na wewe mama ukipewa pesa na baba, sema ni ya baba, wacha kusema ni yako. Siakura rutetako. Ugane si baba wanyu, baba wanyu ale kile baba wanyu ale ile school fees. Bwana asifiwe. No dukare school fees ugane baba wanyu. What you have done is that you have curtailed that man you've made him important. Don't be in a hurry you ladies to to get money from the circle to pay school fees. Aba uge duri iko ta ithatu. Eh mwana ikare hau ata dire na digiona. Ni athe. Ni akobe. Akoba. Mugoda wa kene mugethe so the next time we are planting it and preparing it we are planting it we are tuna we tun we are weeding we are looking we will harvest again hallelujah near the moere ko iko ka kodwa ke cover eni tiga ko yo ha gwe ka maundo gwaku no ko no da otweka sigo maridi hauni o sigo maridi na si ajagia please stop coveting your house, your, your wife's money itakufungia tu itakufungia a woman needs security sawa a woman needs attention 
Mwurina zimu mwadekeka meseji. Oh, wafua. In the middle of nowhere. Just write a good message. Hi, how was your day? Aku karora madha ameri uwe. Nadara aku shokeria. Hata rudisha lakini ameyangalia. Hey, this man. Hey, and Peda. Hata rudisha lakini ameyona. Hey, tuma kwa WhatsApp diyo akublutik ujua liyona. Eh. Hey. Atayona, she loves it. Attention. Come with something that makes her happy. Know what she likes. Umeza ona kama ameitupa lakini amefri. Amekumbuka. Usimuache ukienda pahali. Na ukienda pahali, please for the men, introduce your wives. This is very serious. That is part of attention. Huh? Mwadhiru rasyo. Uga joke ne joke kire. Na you have come with your wife. Ameka pale na kitege alichonesha jana. Na uwezi mu introduce. Introduce her. And na uge ono mutu miya wakua. What that is part of security. Because she feels. Tone jiko kukwina. Ndwe gimo na marede mudhuri wakua. Now I am secure. Ni amenya. Hatari gaja. Please, men, don't forget, never write it in your reminder. Introduce my wife. Very important. It's part of attention. She will be happy. When you are in a conversation with your boys, stop ignoring her. Ukuwa ni tena boy sisi yaku. Mwigira hali ya. Panaitago aji pale kwa mchele. Hapo. Eh, nice. Mwigira hapo kwa nice. Eh, unaitisha nyama na maboyzu wako. Na wako zeka, he he he. Na mutumia kweka ida hau, duramu wana. When you go out with your boys and you have your wife, let her sit next to you. Conversation and address to her. She feels attended, attended to. Oh my God, she feels so loved. Hmm. No, no, we me thangi ma ya do ikomine eri na ikarete mo enoria. You're talking things she cannot understand. Boy stuff, coded messages. Hey, tinura di kana dwa di muga zeka kuwa 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 kuwa. She's wondering what to do. How unywa uga gani? Akadi kagira message tu edeni bani. But if she's seated here, she's the center of attraction. Yeah. When you go out as couples, sit next to your wife. Yeah. Nigeza oko ni kore guwa kore igere la modo mu igere de yare we. Tiku wako kwa kukutile ya guetabaru kana kwa kukodu kuke talame ya le. If she is insecure, she will wonder. No, she oge. No, she oge. No, she oge. So she loves attention. And a woman loves touch. For women, sex in the name, the whole nature of it means nothing. What they're looking for is touch. So that's why you must start the conversation. Ali, hold her, hug her, go in the kitchen, join her in the kitchen. He took your guacoke, get a mine at my ragina, he took him on your yoga. When I see you, yeah. Stay next to her. Because sex means nothing to her. Actually, a woman starts to enjoy sex when she is much older. When she is at ease with her body. But all her years, when men are feeling good about themselves and their sexual escapade, women are wondering what is all this about. Why? Why? Because a woman is not looking for sex. She doesn't physically. She doesn't need it. All she needs is the touch that comes with the sex. So touch your woman. Move. Guse guse mshike mkono. Hug her. He ukikuje nyubani. Hug her. Akienda kitchen. Hover around her. 
Yeah. Huh? Your hands are touching. Those small things she loves touch. <laughs> Eh hey, wewe unataka tu yako saa 5 nusu ya usiku abaya pali utaamkia No wonder you will never understand these girls And you wondering why she is mad She is mad because she is not interested in sex per se She want the journey from morning from yesterday walk with her Eh, hey, usifurahi eti wife yako amekasirika siku tatu na wewe. Do something about it. Look for ways of breaking that ice until she you know her. Unakaanga na yeye. Make a joke until she laughs. Say sorry. Mtumanie hata kwa radio muambie nimemwambia. She will be happy. When you come home ukimtumania kwa radio atakwambia guy leo ni maudu mariko ikai kaka atia we but she is very happy she atakwambia hmm usirudie hiyo but she loves it Actually the bible says you love her like Christ loves the church Hallelujah What does a man need tumeongea mambo ya how to connect to the woman security attention and touch For the man I will start from D to A. A man loves food. Chakula ya kawaida tu. So the man the person who feeds a man is very important. Ladies are we together? The person who feeds your man is very very important. That is why boys and their mothers are like this. Cause that man from day one alipofungua macho yake aliona huyo mama akimfeed So a woman a man is with food it doesn't matter how the food is it is the preparation it is the service So that man needs the food ukienda nyumbani try at least sometimes wakati uko nyumbani to serve your husband Wacha kumtumania apelekewe chakula na house girl. You have lost that man. Kama hauko nyumbani, ambia house girl aweke chakula pahali bwana yako anaweza jichukulia. Umpigie simu umwambie chakula imeandaliwa. Asiandaliwe chakula na msichana wa kazi wakati wewe huko. Especially if the girl is younger than you. <laughs> Slima lighter. And now because wewe uko busy sana, ni ana kulanga chakula yako yako. So, amerura. Wewe umeparara ile kazi na stress umepata kazini. The house girl in your house, she eats everything nice. Wewe hata unanga time ya kukula mayai na sausage ni za watoto na msichana wako zile zinabaki watoto wakibakisha msichana wako pru anakula yote wewe na dukona time hongo hongo ha wacha waka holela kaidi tukau susan take all go e ida wanya brand ya kinyire eh ngeki mukire hiyo na yenya nike ni goria nake Ure si dia dagike wa yagwe kirwe yowe wewe ni jokete dai go safa go What else is being served What else is on that table What else is on that plate Huyo msichana unajua kuna joto kwa nyumba yako Kwa hivyo amevaa ka sleeveless si ndio kuna joto si ameshida kitchen Eh gidi dai na ka sleeveless Na ni areta wega Bwana kwa kuwa na haja lakini the person who feeds a man It's so important. So something in his mind start to trigger. Na kaitwa katika oru. Na dare na dare na kondeu mwana mwana ko. But she is the one who serves him every time. Every time and this girl talks much like you know where we are here garasho garasho. Unaongeanga kama knives. Eh? This girl to 
talks like a melody. Eh? Anaongea kama gita. How are you baba nyabura? How was your day? Kai gira to irio hau. Wewe na wewe ndureko na betha cia kuria mundu how was your day? Oh, ni okinyira tani omothe. Please. A man loves his food. If you can eat with him, when you can eat with him, if you can't eat every meal with him, eat at least one meal in a day. One meal in a day with him. You are bonding. And serve him. Special food. Kama kuna sahani za plastic, mununulia yake. Kia kuhea, kutunuduru wa kuhea, kutunuduru wa madhani, na kuhuwa guruguru wa sinki. Shomora! Let people know that he is the king in the house. Even everybody else. Mstiana wako, your bedroom is out of bound. Tuwe hamwe. Yes. Ni uto, riku wa mudhe bo, riku uyo, atedogi thabia bedroom. What kind of nonsense is this? Wake up at 5.30, utoke 6. Osha bedroom yako. Your bedroom is out of bound. Woi gai muadhani. Eh? It is, you are not see insecurity, you are protecting what is yours. This is the place where you sleep with your husband, you have sex, you have, this is where you talk about your important things. This place has the house, your spirit, the two of you, your spirit, the two of you is in the bedroom. When Paul says, please take care of the Narito bed, Murito Shoka, Kabi Aguikara, Kiroraga. Kigira haru gula mere geti yaku. Yet it is your marital bed. Take care of your bedroom, ladies. Take care of your bedroom. It won't cost you nothing. Yeah, even the men don't like it. Asi yako kiti ya uchete majaketi. Akramu itu wawira bedroom. Akiuma. Let the girl know that that room is out of out of bound so a man loves his food tunatoka d see a man loves validation he is the king treat him like one tell him he is the king even when you don't feel like it tell it to him tia odio ke muta kagia na kukufara Hey, ukona gari. Kamera, hey, hey, hey. Hey, na rumene maguri re gari. What are you telling him? Wado re modro me asho ni warume. Preserve your comments. Validate him. He is your man. He is the father of your children. Manasifuwe. Eh? Tia kuwa ni digi karani na adua mwe ni adua mwe na jetu auta ni na ukona weiri koko wake. We talk about it on market. She and I share with you about it on market. Marcia, you can do it. Do it, Marcia. You are going to go to Marcia. Okay, then. What shall I do? Validate him. What will it cost you? Tell him he is the best. He is. If he wasn't, you wouldn't be with him. Any woman can stay alone and thrive. By the way, yeah. So if you are in a man's house, Zoya, na upende. Tafuta pa ali pazuri akuka na ukari ya vizuri. Validate him. He is the king in that castle. Treat him like one. Wana, aki nya medha ine, si anane ihole re. Ime nyono. Neither, mutigere i remote. Reke ikara na yo hau, eki ore akweda na yo, dare kedu warona, kena kure kere. Give him the remote. Ye, ate mudhuruwe kwe kareta hau, norona, aro, hadro, agado. Ukerela gane maithori madu, marati gilo na wadole mutige. Hati gai, ye. Wanaume aki. Aki wanaume aki. Na wakwe kairethe hau. Give him the remote. Okwa eda kuona mufira nione. Eda kushogira hau, niya shogire ho. Eh. It is his house. Shia nani shiru ihonere. Tiete... Papa, why are you here? Why are you going to go to the shoe? Why are you going to go to the shoe? Why are you going 
kira kiki ni kio airio kira akore aga gazi kore rana kou na wui kaire de hau validate him you are his queen that is how it should be everybody should know this is my man and i'm proud of him eh ukienda kwa wazazi wako validate him don't allow the toshi yake kwara you know girls like to talk please don't talk about your man validate him even if he makes you feel mad how validate him he is your man and tell it in front of him let him know even in front of his friends when you are in the group of his friends come to him kana yeye muhag mulete chakula validate him kia demo dhuru wako athi kwara line da kuria na wero kana thani ya irio ni ureire na cha kuchie nuthu yo mwendere ria kuria aikare the umurehere ni mudrume waku let him feel important because that is exactly what he was for the other thing that men like is companionship kana yeye aki watch ball kana yeye chia his team kama sai ni wa manu kama next is usi uskirize usi usichie manu next na ko wa aseno next uskirize companionship eh oi go go yes na ko yes 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 na do na ginya do e kuria god we ingiragio it doesn't matter no tiga kuragia ciuria ciori mu hinde ya muvira ukiuragia ati haya rifari ne ngeragia boro tiga maundu ta macio goja utaona Yes. Ya kuria tega. Haya e. Ushe ni referee striker. Tika man, tika. Horera. Ni ukumenya uhoro wa mufira kila. Donoka akwaria woka kumuikaria. He is the king of the castle. Kana yeye. Muikarie, oigwa chia na we gachia. Yes, na do nena ko gai. Eh? Ai go mudu akioria. Abru neo, abru neo, abru ne maniu. Ni ukohorwo we. Ni ukohorwo fure. Horera ni ukumenya uri muvira orathie. Tiga ciuria icio. Uru waigwa gikoria ro handro no, uru waigwa gikoria. We ura muri uhoro wa maniu ka mekagira bru. Uru waigwa maniu maikira bru we. Ni ukohorwo. Fure. Be a companion, stay there. Akitaka maji unaedea. Akitaka kahawa unaedea. Kama kuna kitu kwa gari unaedea. You are his companion. You're not his maid, you're just his companion. Because if he doesn't send you, he will send someone else. If your man tells you muende pahali, wacha kuleta vikwazo. Va guo ya kwenda pahali na uende. You know, it's unfortunate. Uko na nguo za kwenda church, za kwenda job, na hauna nguo za kwenda out. Yeah, you want to have something that only your husband is happy with. Na unatebea nayo. Akikwambia mwenda out wacha kusema nini date ni dieda ama huduma sio motuko. Wenda kama huduma leko utiguo nyumba we wiki. Athi agethe mundu. Wako muikaria. Ugetua hali wo uri ohonokete we. Go with him. Somebody will jump on the front seat where you ought to sit. Eh, kuna mtu atasimama kwa barabara. Can I have a lift? Are you going where I'm going? Yeah. Igia, kiti yako. Aje ikarete ore akwenda hau. Huh? Ena ngakuwa kinye te hala na ikarete hala uikaraga we. Na wewe nyumba ukiraba sa barasha taraba za ya ma. Shauri yako. Fata yeye akikwambia muende enda Bwana asifiwe sana Bwana asifiwe sana companionship walk with him go with him Mm 
kaa hapo na kama yeye pengine your husband drinks wewe kaa hapo na uitishe soda na usiache soda yako nusu hapo utaacha soda yako nusu utatoka hapo ukiiba nyimbo zingine hujaiiba kwa fort kama unaenda lu maliza ile ilikuwa kwa kwa glass tiki yao uru ndo na kono kono ya kuragia ndo kunyoka nini <laughs> utakunya kidogo <laughs> utakuja hapa na ukuji ah wacha usikie sio baya so hata kuma gara akire kanini akorora gyo guo ugicejia enjoy the company but also take care of your faith that does not mean todo no watu anamudhuru ku ni anyuaga joyo na ne mutari nake no kaga kwa kweli muriu Sadan ni tie dewa nogio na wa maki uikarete au dobirie kumweheria ho kama umekaa kwa sina tabu moja na yeye amekaa kwa ingine anza maombi sio lazima isikike inasikia kwa kwa baba naomba ya kwamba mwadhani ngai turikaraga giti gya kanitha haha turaikara tuguikara just for a few times in the mighty name of jesus tika kuhiukirwo ukimuragia gukumwokire nao what does it matter when we we ho ni we we ili makua beba Tia kuria no gore kare ta irima riu weka hapo na ubebe netia nyama ugetia ri otangi otangi afford we yes agure becha sia kini sia kini sia kuri one we yes namo aitukira handu ugaingira nguo ya duka ya nguo ukagura nguo we utangi afford athithine it is your companionship it is his money isn't it Yes, enjoy using your hands money. Every time you enjoy using it, God blesses him. When you are happy using your husband's money, God blesses him. You wait. Tia kwa bia kurakaraga. Companionship, walk with him. The first thing that a man likes wherever he is, whatever he is is sex. And there is no two words about this. And for a woman it is love making. For a man it's sex as simple as that. So he may not get it how you want it unless you tell him. Because for him dio yo yeah and it's a physical need. For the woman it is not a physical need. For the man he has to release the energy. For the woman you are releasing nothing. So kule ni makahiti yo igoro haha. Bwana swe sana. Tadora mutumyo jo ya gugugu utiwo kahetia iguru we. Muduri wakwa turaga guko. Eh? For him it is a physical need the way he is created by God. He will have to release however whichever way. Eh? Na we kareta we kereta. Dera ya uginyaba ikana furu na kina kido igiko wo guo. Na kamiso What are you doing with all these clothes in bed and you have a man? If you don't have a man it's okay. I understand. But if you have a man, you have no business sleeping with two pieces of clothes. Two. Unaba tarem gwegea. Egerutwa na ihenya. Tindu de umundu magistrago na nguo ikomire asita inya. Wedo wake ogudhirira okou. What are you doing? Ona ikonyo ba ya wate uikaraga na mudu uraraga na mudu kwina mirigiti Ushoko ko mena nguo ria inya Na ni uramenya mudu shuno ore kuvatara at some point in the night kana nita nyenya na nuthu kana mugwaja kana keda kana ikomina magokiroka gukia it doesn't matter sometimes he will need you during that night Hm ukiga we murwaru Warwara mutwe unywe dawa. A man needs sex. It's a need, it's not a want. Tuko pamoja. And when you are at it, start to enjoy it. Most of the problem is that women don't understand they don't enjoy sex. Start to en- it is your body after all. Sindio? Eh? Wacha kukua wale wanasemanga ukimaliza unifunike. Usikue hivyo. And there is nothing that makes a man happy when he knows that his partner likes him. It is part of validation. 
if he thinks that he makes you happy sexually, my God, he will be a king of his castle. When he walks, he will walk kwa madaha. Eh? Anajua yule mke ako nyumbani kwake ametoshelezwa. Ni we nawe, eh? Mudwa furuneki. Go and learn what makes you happy so that you can show him it's a journey. Eh? Yeah. Let him touch where you feel nice. When I see face, I see my ladies love to touch. So you are allowing him to mismanage you to a bed because you have never told him where you like to be touched. Learn to enjoy sex. When I see face, I see my ladies love to touch. Learn to enjoy sex. Learn to enjoy sex. Learn to enjoy sex. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> oh my God. I can't do it To inoke. You can't not teach a man to enjoy sex, but for a woman, you will have to learn. It's a nut. So, so our ladies, there's no shame. God is happy. Can I wish you a gay back? Oh, you got my do. When your man is happy, he sleeps well, he's more productive. When he has had better sex, he sleeps well, he's more productive, he's more loving. Who is the beneficiary? And he won't go now, go, kuta futa. He's sorted at home. Sawa sawa. Yes, who is the beneficiary? You, other than what is not allowed in the word of God, experiment with him. Kidogo, kidogo. Siyo kwa kitada peke yake. Siwa toto wanaeda siju wapi. Kaini hapa kwa kitchen. Wakati mungine kwa sitting room. Let him enjoy. It is a physical need for him. You cannot teach him to enjoy sex. He was born wanting to enjoy sex. Wewe di unaitaji kisomo. For, for the ladies learn so that you have your man he is happier he is healthier he is more productive na he is home graced all most of all the things you are struggling with deal with them so tumemaliza hiyo maneno so inside kwa ile ka box kuna nini children project and personal development there is nothing much to say there just to say that hizi vitu ni zenu Personal development usifiche kitu kwa mwingine. Naona? Learn to talk about. It's part of communication. Ukitaka kwenda shule, abia buwanako. Usiweke pesa kando, atinesia kweigira. Ushio ni okare. Lakini, wacha your husband ajue you have more money than you can use. That's the only way to satisfy a woman, by the way. For the men. When she has more money than she needs, she will be happy. So, personal development does not mean... Why would a woman not tell her husband she has money? Because Bwanake anataka yo pesa. Let me tell you ladies. If a man does not know his position and you have money, he will use your money and finish it. Ati umechukulia Bwanake alone, ukamwekea biashara, ataiweka chini. It is just what is in. He is a predator. Yeah. Yes, that's how he is. He's a king. He will not enjoy the kingship of another person. So you are a king in his castle. Oh, he will bring your troops down. Sure You start a business for him. You are paying loan for him. He will ensure you have no money. Please, I know this message does not get agile with ladies, but there is no other way to tell you. Don't make your man impotent. You have more money than him and he feels insecure, he will use it. Yes, that's 
Yokobe. Nagadoka muno akuharie. Because he is a king and you're bringing kingship and other troops here, Zitaisha. So, personal project, talk about them together. These are things to talk about together. Projects, Iria Mugete, Gena, na project, Mura contribute in your As a woman, don't allow your contribution to go beyond 30%. I'm serious. Eh, eh, Ukifika 30%. Ukanyitonika inashi ya keho, dide. Niagwe dha na niakuo na. Niwe mudurume. Gaya koro kwa higuri ta higuri ya kiyoku kuri ya rume. That's the way it is. Forget that, forget the, the affirmative action. These days we are affirming the man. Because he is the one who needs affirming. When our men are affirmed, we have no problems here to nashi woko. Why do we have the problems we have? Because the women are so way up there. They don't know how to take care of the boy child. My house is full of boys. So what will happen if I don't treat, I do not empower my boys and I don't tell, tell them, I will be bringing up sisters. Sisters. Iriadaga sponsor. Shikuwa gone gari. Ikutwari that ye gari she sponsor she university. God forbid. That is exactly what is happening. Because we are very empowered women who have no way of knowing how to deal with a boy child. You don't know anything to tell a boy except what you know as a woman. So what will my boy do if I'm stronger than his father? Tell me. When that boy gets to the age of maturity, at the age of 24, he will be looking for a woman who is like his mother. Yeah. Where is that boy? He will grow up under somebody. He is important from day one. His sex becomes a bargain to drive this car. It is no longer for reproduction. He is no longer productive in the society. Because the sponsor can pay the bills. This boy doesn't need to do anything except to wake up, go and fuel the car, have it washed, and come back and watch movies. He never learns to be a man. And the woman she, he is sleeping with does not need children. Because this boy is not thinking. He is not a man. He is not a king. So don't think that it has anything to do with your financial capability. We are empowering the man. Because the man needs to be empowered. Look at our men. What are the, some of the alcoholic drinks doing? They make our men important. What is happening is that our women will go out there looking for strong men. They can no longer find men among the language they speak. As you get empowered, allow the man in your life to be better than you for the sake of your sons. If not for the sake of the man, for the sake of your sons. That is why we are saying children belong to both of you. They are inside this triangle. When you discipline as a lady, if you have a man in the house, if you don't have a man and you have children, look for a male figure. Your children will respect. You have a man who is older than you. Not your father, but older than you. Please don't look for your small brother and you think he is going to discipline your children. There ought to be another man whom you respect because if you have the husband, he would be above you. Who can stand in the position of your husband? It can be your older brother, it can be another cousin, it can be a man in the society whom your children respect. Do not be the last person to do discipline to your children as a woman. Because, especially if you're bringing up men, 
kuri hatu na mo tu mia agehora mo na ona mo te une gage mo drumi shadari odwa geigua. Is it not true? By the time he is thirteen, fourteen, he has broken his voice. Maso sine shio mire. Ata uki mukonga hakuna kitu na fanya. Ata uki shine kusema wa. You're doing nothing. You are speaking like a parrot. This man is speaking like a lion. And he is your boy of 14 years old. Can I take one? I'm going to say, I'm going to say, There are things you cannot do to that boy. He is a man. Let him get a man to discipline him. If you're in the house, don't be the last disciplinarian. Let your husband be the disciplinary. I call it he coin it. Kinya hari ogo kinya mama nye ne kuri ma odo madogua. Nitabia ba. Pekine your husband is the most harmless because some people ladies are the tougher ones. It doesn't matter. Let that man say a word. And you as a man say one word. One word is enough. Eh? Even one word like saying ni ni meskia muna subu mama yenu. Ni meskia muna huku kuagu. It is enough. That is discipline. Those children will know who cook na mwenye. Yes. Roar like a man. Let the children learn from you how to be what they ought to be. For the girls, when you are a strong man, your girl will look for a strong husband. If you are not strong, atatafuta mtu mwenye vile mama yake anavyo kupeleka. Usitikie. For the sake of your girls. Otherwise, they will not keep marriages. Because the moment they get married to somebody, they bring down. What will happen? They will walk away. Let your marriage work for the sake of your children. If you have these friends, please, for God's sake, go and sort them in the bedroom. Let not your children know that you are speaking to each other nastily. Doesn't matter how crazy you are. Take your differences to, for the sake of the generation where you will not be there. Because if a girl knows that his, her, her mother treats her husband or her father like trash. That is exactly what she will do to the man she marries. Yes. And as you get whatever you are getting for your children, love to it. Like, enjoy life. The best thing you can leave for your children is blessing and a good education. As you amass wealth, amass it for yourself. Enjoy life together. Your children are within their circle. Remember the other thing we said about parents is you are a blesser. Learn to do what? To bless. Don't curse. Hata ukisikia kasi kwa hapa usitoe because it's a stick. Don't curse your child. Kweka iwa alitiri atea. Don't. Hii ujiga ulitoa wapi? Ujiga gani? Don't. Those words are curses. Tell the boy Utaweza. Hesabu, Niraisi. Utaweza. Empower your children to be the best they can be. If he wants to be a musician, buy for him a guitar. Don't tell him to take you jiga hapa. Wewe soma, wewe ni daktari. Daktari karioki. No. He wants to be a musician. Buy him a guitar, but tell him, in my house, you will have to get a certificate. Let him know. Ugnataka mikuam artist, I will not prevent you. But you also have to get a certificate. Yes. Asome guitar zake, asome artist zake, afanya finance zake, lakini apate certificate ya something that can hand him money. And that is from you as a parent. Put your foot down. Mwambie soma hiyo music wakati wataka kusoma shauri yako. But you must get a skill. You are either a teacher, you are an accountant, you are an IT person. You have a skill that can earn you money. Because this world revolves around money. Sawa sawa. But never tell him you can't draw. Let him draw, but let him know. In my house. You are getting a skill. Very, very important. Let put your boundaries as parents. 
a triangle. Yeah, put your boundaries. Put your boundaries. If you have no boundaries, the children know. And they will never be able to have boundaries, even wakienda kazini. Put your boundaries at home. Have boundaries. So we are finished with inside. Tuko nanje. Why are they outside the box? Because they can be put aside. Bwana sifa sana. Kile kano kiwa gati tu abiri hara hara natives. Ati na kemo duri. Nia gati gani na naide? Mani tete ni onau. Matuwe keke. Yeah. As a mother-in-law, stop interfering with your son's marriage. You are not needed. Whatever you gave that boy, you gave him when he was under you. Sawa, sawa. The only thing that is needed now is prayer. Wacha kuchidaga hapa ukichugulia. Huh? Atekaya tararia. He wa he jatia. Akwa akwa he jatia kiti tara kire mushi. He has a home, and his wife does not treat you like you. His wife does not treat him like the way you treat him as a mother. You are his mother. You can bebeleza him as much as possible. What his wife needs is money. Wake up, pesa hapa. Ata bebelezo sangapi. Ata konda. Lakini ya kielewana na wife. As they go on. Ata fanya nini? Ata nona. But you can't be there chuguli ya lini. Kuyuliza maswali ya nyahi eleweki. Ata niki edraigu ya kukumuk. Inegene kuhu. Inegene toru kinya liko niri ya bara. Inegene niri ya maudu maige. Na weona siri ya bara. Ata he daigu ya thia kuhu. What do you want? Let them go on with their life. They can be making noise because of very many other things. It is not necessary that they are fighting. They could be enjoying each other's company. And they can make noise. You as a mother, you have no business. parent. Yes. Wives, if you are staying with your mother in law in the same compound, answer maobi. Just pray. You are two women who have different needs for that man. This is a mother, you are the wife. That is why you have a problem. Mother-in-law a chana na watu. Huh? Chana na hao. Kama wanaka kayole, wacha wakaka kayole na huko, wewe tebea mchana, urudi. Urudi, 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 jioni. Hmm. Wacha kwenda kulala huko. Sigo confused, unafanya nini huko? Utafutu wangwe pahali ya kulala, ununuru wangwe blanketi usiku. Temamia huko mako. Inuka! You will belong to the outside of the box. Eh? Hey. Waki kutaka watakuja. Uki wataka kuona mtoto, ede uone mtoto mchana. Uki ede, uki edaga. Sio kushide ukiuliza, kaitara siyaruo, uragi siyaruo da shiga na noti hida aha ugete ine. Kwa meteo. Bwana sifa sana. Enda kwako di uzaliwe. Unataka kuzaliwa? Rudi ukaombe. Hapa you are not needed. Sawa sawa mother in law. Obea kijana mtoto akukiletewa kasichana pokea. Wacha kusema oh kana takanywa avagi gaka. Ureta garute ka ngi kuna ke ni wako nywa avagi. Kitiye dia atikire. Ara kiruta ku. 
o ku vangire no kwaronire mundu ingira iruine wabie kuhoya niga kugaruruka onawe ni ngai wakwigirire tha yeah some people here they have a problem with alcoholism it's just that they didn't find it when they were growing up maigitwo gwe thai ici maronengerwo so please don't talk about that girl kameretwa ujue by the time bwan mtoto wako anakuletea kasichana amechuga aga nigishugi amejaribu kama tano huyu eh, hapana usiozi pelekea mami she is number 5 she is number 5 amechungwa she has been sieved and sieved and sieved halafu unamwambia kijana hajatafuta pokea no heberie sawa sawa na kama hana tuguo anza kumnunulia tule tuguo tunaweza aenda kanisa kama raiga kaka kwa ni kega na ukienda unabeba tushuka tuwili kwa sababu mko na yeye because guo yenye atavaa itapada juu mbebe kashuka wegiti wegirire my daughter no tige bara kwa sababu there is no way that boy would have married you atakama anakupenda for the sake of the next generation she needs that girl ushira nyovagi the other side is for friends where do you put your friends in the family have common friends if you don't have common friends introduce them to each other for example maybe i have a friend who is not a friend of my husband at least he should know i have that friend for the men if you feel introduce if you have nothing to hide introduce your girlfriend to your wife at she will see the good ones and the nasty ones atamuonea 18 Eh akwerio cio Atirajeria no Tumuta era nake Ha Ni atio gimwekaga Amwona na to divide Na ne kore she is harmless Kore harmless unless your wife has a problem with security Ni to aroga do ro mutwarete Other than that if she is not insecure she will save your friends She will tell you who is a good friend, who is just a friend and who is after you. Introduce your girlfriend, men, let me tell you, how to be safe. You know most men are clueless. Sorry. When 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 relationships are being started, extramarital relationship, most men are clueless. They don't even know what is happening. Eh? And now na hai. Hi. Na ya narudisha. Hai. Hadwage gushokia. Ivi to zaredi zo we, rajo ra hai na ni we nende muthuri. Hagishokia. But for the man, hai, hai. How was your day? Fine. Na kogera how how was yours? Guy ka utarona kuria ni ni rogedo rorathi. A woman will tell a, another woman. Hey. Imenya na kana kereba. So if a woman wants your husband, a woman wants another woman's husband that woman will know there is no way that girl will not know that that other girl anataka nani bwanake the man may not know so introduce your girlfriend to your wives na we mutumia stop in security sia goma atio kaire tu eh some of them are colleagues Sawa sawa. Yes. No no gyo no do. Tika kuruga mbere ya darama. Cuz that man will ako kuhingira utaka kuonia. Kuja pole pole. You are an expert in this game. Yeah. Women are experts. They know how to deal with a man. Let me say something which is will just burst a bubble. Kini sawa tu. <laughs> By the time a girl puts herself in a position to be liked by a man she has done her calculations Alimsoma kitabo na akasema hi this is a good candidate What does she do She stays in a manner likely to suggest that she is available That's what girls do and then men say ah finally nimekapata wapi 
She stayed in a place likely to suggest that she is ready. Because it is women who look and see the men. If you see that girl in your life, she chose you. Where are men? I don't know what you say. Where are women? Where are women? Where are Girls are experts at saving men who are good for nothing and men who will take care of their brood. Because they are looking into the future. That's why you see a good man has many people and women who want him. When a, the more a man makes money, it doesn't matter how Sura Baya, Haijalisi, Otikona Kwa Sura, the more a man makes money, the more by security. And what is number one security? Money. Yeah. So the more you pray for your man, old lady, the more unamzunguka na ya yesu. Because the more he gets, the more women are interested. And most of the time, he is clueless. It is not his fault. Usishidange hapa umemkasirikia. He doesn't get it. Pray for him. Kushida umekasirika hapa, unachukua simu, unayeda through, akicheji password, unaisoma, kama mekabu. Unagoja sahau, hasawiki, lakini hile sikuwa mesahau. Sure, sure, sure. Ah, ukora hau ukirira. Ugo the adhimu inigwe katia. Nani uramaya na ukora maithori. Why were you going there in the first place? Siweke si mukado. Ukiona mambo ya yedi vizuri si uyombe. Tue amu atumia. Tia kwele ya lage kuo. Dimo ya amu udure katia nayo. Tigana nayo. Ako negera ni odoge. But until a man gives you his phone, leave it. If he keeps changing his password, he has something to hide. Akiedaka na simu kwa cho, na kwa bafu, he has something to hide. But please, the best way is not kununa hapo, na kumabia, nipe simu! Nini ni unaficha? Nipe simu! Niko tiguwa kutiguwa we. You just learn, if he hides his phone, he cannot leave it. He changes his password every week. He has something to hide. But the best way, you are a master and an expert in this game. Just weed out the others through prayer. data. <laughs> Fight this battle nicely. Take it to the Lord in prayer. You have authority over this man. Pray over him. It is not crazy. Yeah. He will not have sex as a covenant, by the way. Sex is a it's a covenant. When you are having sex, at that one moment, Kabla Oba. This is a covenant. These bodies belong to each other. In the mighty name of Jesus. No other body will come here. Usi muombe uki akiskia. You will put him off. So, usi muombe za ye katika jina la yesu. Tika wana we. Yoni yako na mungu wako. Hapa chini kuna community. Sindio? Relatives, friends and community. Tuma ha friends. Tokeirana menya nae. Menye the other friends. Community. You go to the community when the other person has given. Community includes church, by the way. You serve in the community when the other person has allowed you. 
Sawa. Your community ministry is yours. Tare I am an individual. Etigo. Ha adio kitena muduri wakwa. Na tetene to menaine. But I am here and he knows where I am. You get it? So don't serve the community when you are when you are when you are you are the other person doesn't like it. God does not interfere with this marriage unless God does not interfere with man woman unless the man or the woman is not good enough. Even when a woman becomes and not good, what does God do? He removes men don't know how to go to God as a husband. So men, if you're having a problem with your wife, go to God. He will become that which your wife is not becoming. It is the same way. It is only that near to mere moe with the weather gaita mo rume because that's what they're used to. In the community, don't serve the community without the concept of the person you are with your husband or your wife. Why? Nyo kwe agi dia kiradimo. Ono tugata ore ora aruta, urikora gono tugata no wakumushike. It's not there. Sasa wa. We are done. Kwe na kiori ya tunia da tureki ni taiko minemu gai. Family Dynamic uh, Ministry, let's stand and pray before we can go on. Tusimame tuombe. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are before you. We thank you because of what you've taught us today. You've told us to love each other. That was the book of John. And God, we want to pray that you will help us. We want to come and connect with you through faith, through love, and through obedience. Now help us. When we connect with you right as a father, as a husband, and as a friend, we are able to connect with other people the right way. Now come and be with us and help us. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray and give thanks. Amen. God bless you.